Hi guys! Welcome back to Let's Play Metal Gear Solid 2. In the last part, we beat Vamp. Surprisingly, that was harder than I thought it was. And uh, now we're going to take our level 4 card key and go save Emma. Thank you for the ration. We now have one. That is good. And uh, we don't need a gun here because, well, we're going underwater again. Just for a little bit this time. It's not, not, not that long. So let us go and avoid the mine. Would be nice. Grab some bullets, AK-74UXVRTCI bullets, that is definitely what they're called. Let's grab some air. I don't even know where I'm going because we don't have the map. Is this the way? But there's an item here, so we'll grab this. Some PSG-1T, so that's the tranquilizer variant of the sniper rifle. Avoid the mines. Oh, yes, the body armor. This is a great weapon to have. Well, it's not a weapon. It's actually something you equip, much like the BDU. You equip the body armor, and you just take half damage. Now, there is a downside to this, and that is that you actually have to manually equip your rations and stuff when you're going to die or when you want to heal. But otherwise, you keep it on, and not only does it look kind of cool, because, you know, you have the... You have the actual body armor on as opposed to the weird skeleton suit thing and, you know, I think it looks pretty cool. Use the terminal here to actually get the map, which would be nice to have earlier because I had no idea where I was swimming. I just kind of went in a direction and crashed into a mine and, yeah. So now we have this and, hey, there's an item here. Pentazamine, Penzamine. This will actually be kind of helpful. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. She in this one? Yes, she is. Haha. -ha. Same trick as you do with Otacon. Are you all right? Who are you? Raiden, I'm getting you out of here. Get me out? You're lying. Where are you taking me this time? What are you talking about? I'm here to help. Here, I'll prove it. Do you have nanos? What? Well, do you? I do. Everybody on this project has them. Okay, good. Let's try. Can you hear me now? Nano communication? That's right. I have nano machines too. Then you're not one of them. That's what I've been trying to tell you. And you came to rescue me? Actually, I need your help to stop Arsenal. I understand you're the only one who might be able to do it. And who told you that? The president. Really? I need you to come with me to Shell One. Your brother's waiting for you there. My brother? Come on, we have to get moving. This place will be flooded soon. swim. You used to love it. How do you know? Your brother told me. He's really here? That's right. He's here to rescue you. I don't believe you. He would never come for me. And I'm telling you he's here, waiting for us at Shell One. No! He left me, my mother, when we needed him the most. When my father died, all he could think about was himself. Emma, we can go over all that later, but first we have to get out of here. No! I hate water! It's hopeless! I can't swim! I can't swim! You can do it! I can't! Come on, deep down inside, you know you can swim! I can't keep my eyes open in the water. Endless blue. The water, it, 
It wants me. It won't let me go. All right. Then close your eyes. I'll guide you. I, I, I was injected with something. My, my legs. I have trouble moving them. Listen, Emma. Just hold your breath. I'll do the rest. First, we'll head to filter chamber two. Then we'll take a break. And all I have to do is hold my breath. That's right. How long? Just a little while. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. That's how I got here. I, I don't think I can do it. I'm not good at holding my breath. Look, Emma, I have an idea. Put your ear against my chest and listen to my heartbeat. Your heartbeat? Count the beats. Don't think about anything else. When you reach 100, open your eyes. By that time, we'll be on the other side. Give me a signal if you think you're running out of breath. What will you do then? I'll swim faster. Hang on tight. Okay, let's go. I'm closing my eyes. Take some deep breaths. One, two, three. Wait! What is it? Uh, let me take off my glasses. You know, you should wear contacts. There's nothing wrong with my eyes. Hmm? I wear them for show. Trying to be different from the other girls? No, it's not like that. I like glasses. And there's this guy I liked who used to wear them. Your first boyfriend? No. Somebody more important. Anyway, they bring me luck. I see. Okay, let's go. All right, so before we get going, one really neat thing, you know how he said listen to my heart rate? And that's actually what she does. So if you use a pentamine, or pentazim, I can't pronounce that. Benzodiazepamine antidepressant. It actually slows down your heart rate, that's what it does. And she loses her, um, breath slower. So use one of those. I'd also equip the rations here. As you know, it's kind of a, kind of a good idea so that, I don't know, it's just... It's, I don't even know. Think, oh god, that's why. See? Um, it causes her heart rate to go up, which isn't good. There we go. See, my you can actually feel your heart rate, and as such, we have to re-equip the pentamine, reuse the pentamine, and yes. So, um, voice actors. This is Jennifer Hale doing the voice of Emma. You should probably look at the map. Jennifer Hale is probably known as the person who... Oh god, she's almost out of oxygen again. She's been called, like, the woman of a million voices for video games because she's everybody. Like, she is Toadette, she is Sheena from Tales of Symphonia, she's freaking um, Samus, Commander Shepard. This is the right way, right? Or did I... No, yeah, this is the right way. So you actually have to hold the action button have her hold her hand because of the thing with her legs. So... It's- this isn't as bad a mission as other escort missions, you'll see, it's- it's surprisingly good. You did good. I concentrated on your heartbeat. It reminded me of when I was a kid. I remember my brother giving me a piggyback ride. I was sleeping with my ear against his back. I could hear his heartbeat. Sounds like you were close. We were, back then. We were stepchildren in our parents' second marriages. Wherever my brother went, I used to tag along. 
My brother didn't have any close friends, so he used to take care of me. We both wanted to be loved so much. So much that we used to pretend. Pretend? Yeah, we used to play house. My brother was the husband and I was the wife. But it was always just make-believe. We were only kids. You know what I mean. I never had a family, but I think I know what you mean. Raiden, what's your status? Colonel, I've got Emma Emmerich here. We've managed to avoid drowning. Good job. Get her over to Shell 1 as soon as you can. That's going to be hard with the connecting bridge on the upper level destroyed. Didn't Olga say something about taking the oil fence at the bottom of Strut L? Yeah, I remember that. You should be able to go down by way of Strut L. Try and get over there. What about Emma? She's been injected with something and she can't walk without any help. Take her with you. Free your hands of any equipment and hold down the action button to give her a hand. To release your grip on her, take your finger off the action button. Emma can sit and wait until you help her back up. And be careful. You won't be able to use any weapons while you're leading her. Now head for Strut L. We're on our way. Raiden, we've infiltrated the computer room. What's your situation? Emma's safe. We're heading your way. <sighs> Good job. Shell One's deserted. Looks like everybody's aboard Arsenal. I had a look at the system, but there's nothing I can do. EE's our only hope. Right. I'll put her on then. Huh? EE? -E? How? I'll use my Kodak as a relay. Uh. <clears throat> Here she is. Uh, how? Uh. EE, -E, is that you? How? EE. -E. Um. Why are you involved with Metal Gear? Huh? You knew our family's dark history and still got involved? What's wrong with you? I should have known. Answer me. Why are you repeating the same mistake? I... I wanted to hurt you. I wanted to see you suffer. E.E.? -E? You abandoned me. No, that's not what happened. All right. That's enough. Huh. Who are you? I'm a friend of Otacon's, Emma. Otacon? Enough with the sibling rivalry. That's not what this is. We haven't got time for this. Raiden, get her over here right now. I... I... Gotcha, Snake. I'll head over there with Emma. Most of the enemies aboard Arsenal, but I suggest you be careful. Make sure Emma gets here in one piece. Raiden, take care of my sister. Don't worry. I'll get her there. All right. So remember when I said like I was when I was playing this for the first time, my sister was in the room and stuff and yeah. The whole thing with with the I you know, we play house and I would be the mother and the father and I honestly told her to leave the room for the entire Emma saga because yeah. Emma, Snake and Hal are waiting for us in Shell One's computer room. I've got this disc that the President gave me. This disc is supposed to contain a virus that can corrupt Arsenal Gear's operating system. We need you to... This is... this is my program. What? Why did the President give it to you? Huh? Did something happen to the President? Dead. What? You actually wrote this virus? It's not really a virus. It's more like a worm cluster. It's actually a delayed effect autonomous program that's designed to invade GW's cerebrum and render its nerve connections useless. You know what GW is? Of course. I created it. Huh? You look surprised. Uh, well... Cat got your tongue? I'm sorry. I... How about the Patriots? Ever heard of them? Yes, but I only know what I've been told. Can you tell me what you know? Um, 
sure, but it's hard to put into words. Right. Are you reading me, Emma? Yes, loud and clear. The President said that arsenal gear was the Patriot's key to supremacy. That's as good a description as any. What exactly is it? It's a massive data processing system capable of controlling information on a global scale. A data processing system? That's right. The system's a social device for maintaining the Patriot's control. You've lost me. Well, in this day and age, information emerges from every direction and is freely distributed. A variety of information gathered by servers employing the latest in high-speed communication networks and P2P technology is rapidly circulated to individuals. In fact, the speed of this circulation process is accelerating on an almost daily basis. The Patriots seem to be afraid of this development. Apparently, they believe that their role will shift from dominant to dominated. Huh? But let me give you an example. You're aware of Solid Snake's anti-Metal Gear activities, aren't you? Yeah, I know a little about it. Well, that's just a small sample of uncontrolled information. I can guarantee you the Patriots did not want Solid Snake's name publicized. Now, look at it like this. Political scandal, corporate corruption, up until now, the Patriots have managed to keep a lid on these and other self-serving events. But with their existing data processing system, they're no longer able to effectively control the flow of information generated at the individual level. With the newly created system, they can fully regulate digital information. High-level information can be categorized in stages, given clearance levels, and deleted as necessary, never to be seen by the public. By deleting such information, the Patriots can shape the course of history as they see fit. Somebody's bound to catch on. No, the memory capacity, not to mention the lifespan of the average individual, is extremely limited. On the other hand, digital information lasts virtually forever. It doesn't deteriorate. So? The alphabet. 26 letters, right? It could have been 30 letters. What if the four deleted letters were controlled by a program? Impossible. It's not. In fact, something similar is already underway. Do you know how many genes exist in an individual? About 30 to 40,000? Right. That's what was announced at the turn of the century. But there's actually 100,000 according to the original theory advanced by the scientific community. Information regarding the remaining 60,000 was suppressed by the Patriots. No. Why? How would you know? Do you know what a gene looks like? Did you count them yourself? There are research organizations. Of course. And their reports have already been subtly altered. They're even beginning to believe the doctored reports. GW is a system that allows the Patriots to decide what will be recorded in tomorrow's history. So what we're talking about is one huge censorship system for deleting information which might be inconvenient to the Patriots. Exactly. The actual physical core for handling the task, GW, is installed in Arsenal. It's the only system in the world with an optic neural AI that has a parallel processing capacity of 980 trillion hammets. I suppose that being a specialist in neural AI and complex logic played a significant role in your association with the Metal Gear project. That's not the only reason. What do you mean? <sighs> I guess there are plenty of other reasons. Yes, there are. I understand. Do you? So Arsenal Gear was actually designed to protect the GW system, wasn't it? Um, yes. It's armed with everything, including nuclear weapons, and is fully equipped with cyber-terrorist countermeasures. Physically and logically, it's the ultimate fortress for housing GW. But is the AI actually capable of controlling everything? No. GW is only the system's core. It's only for deciding what data is stored or deleted. The actual subsystem for executing the task exists within our social structure. What? Do you remember the panic that gripped the computer industry prior to the end of the century? You mean the Y2K problem? That's right. If you recall, our government supplied the world with a countermeasure program, using the internet at full capacity. The program was distributed to every governmental organization, every key facility throughout the world. In addition, the same program was included in an OS application for distribution among the public. Let me guess. The Y2K countermeasure contained a program designed by the Patriots. Yes, and everything supplied from that day onward contains the same program. Impossible. Do you know how a computer operates? Do you really know the basic principles on how data is exchanged? Uh, 
Nobody's aware of it, but there's a subsystem in place, and it's about to be activated. Is that why Solidus wants to burn out every electrical circuit in Manhattan with a nuclear blast? Probably, but the overall system isn't actually complete. What? It still lacks the necessary factors for judging situations. I heard they were planning a major experiment in the next few days to provide complex data for GW to study. And suddenly all this happens. Emma, it's not your fault. If it wasn't for the terrorists... Yeah, you're right. Well, I think that's about all I know. Right. Uh, thanks. I think we'd better head for the computer room. <sighs> My bird in the computer room! Is he safe? That noisy, overgrown parakeet? Excuse me, he's a parrot. And he's my best friend. My only friend. Well, the bird's okay. Good. Did you know that in the old days, miners used to take a canary into the mine shafts to detect toxic gas? That's what he's for? No. I really needed someone to talk to. Right. I think we'd better get moving. We've got a little longer to cover than the last time. I'll give it my best. Whatever you do, don't open your eyes. Why not? A dead body, not a pretty sight. Oh. Once we get past it, it'll be too dark to see anything. What are those sticks in your head? These? They're lacquered chopsticks. They hold your hair in place. Did you know that they're pretty popular in Europe and South America? Can't say that I do. You're not only cute, but smart, too. Oh, I'm much more than cute. Okay, let's go. All right, guys, before I go, let me just lay a little bit of knowledge on you. You see, so you know the whole thing with Metal Gear Solid 1 was the idea of changing genes? Well, see, the whole thing with Metal Gear Solid 2, the theme of it is memes. You know, like, internet memes? So it's like, by chain, memes are the genes of society. So the whole idea is, they want to rewrite history by only allowing the memes, which are the things that we pass on through generations, that the Patriots want to go on so that they can basically create their own history. It's very confusing, yes. And that's sort of why I love this game. I love the game story. But uh, we will continue next time on Let's Play Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty. Until then, folks, let's talk to her girlfriend one more time because, you know, it's the, it's the hippest thing to do, obviously. So, uh, yeah. See you guys next time on Let's Play. I said that already. Ciao. Well, Jack, it sounds like you and Miss Emma are getting along just fine. Rose? I've been monitoring your every move in conversation. I can't say it's been fun. Give me a break. I I'm only trying to keep her spirits up. Is that right? Absolutely. My mission is to get her to the computer room. That's all? Yeah. You're lying. You're attracted to her, aren't you? I'll admit she's cute. Cuter than me? Rose, you're beautiful. You know how I feel about you. Have you remembered yet? You mean April 30th? Yes. It's your birthday, isn't it? Wrong. You're not even warm. What is it then? Forget it. It's nothing. Maybe I'm just a little, a little jealous. Rose. You'd better get moving. Good luck. <laughs>